So I've had a few people ask me what at, at PSA is, and I feel I've, I've got to do a really quick 101. Um, it's a network for PSA members who identify as gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, takatapoi, whafafene, intersex, and anybody who's not... Uh, this is really difficult. Um, so perhaps non-heterosexual and perhaps not identifying with a gender binary of, of male and female, but not necessarily. It gets really confusing. <laughs> And so um, we sometimes use acronyms to describe this very varied group of people. And, and there's various ones like GLBT, GLBTI, uh, GLITTFAB, or GLITFAB. I detest them. I'm sorry. Um, so I like to use the word queer. And I like to use that as an umbrella term for everybody who doesn't fit into whatever. Um, so there's a bit of politics with the word queer as well. Obviously it's um, had some negative connotations for some people and so they don't like me or other people using it as a term that includes them. And um, my explanation with regards to that is that queer in my understanding originally meant different and at some point in the 50s um, people who wrote dictionaries changed that to mean abnormal and that's what's been used against people uh, in, in the community, that they're abnormal. So this is still an issue for workers today. We've had a couple of really important pieces of legislation in New Zealand. Um, we had the Homosexual Law Reform Act in 1986. Is that right? Somebody who was, yeah. Um, and so that made it, uh, well that stopped it being illegal to be a homosexual man. Um, lesbians, fortunately or unfortunately, uh, it was never illegal to be a lesbian, but that's pretty much because the Queen didn't believe that women would do that kind of thing. So, <laughs> so it's, it's not necessarily that you know, they're better or, or worse or anything. Um, so out at PSA has got a committee, and I'll tell you about some of the things that we've been doing, because I think we've been doing some really awesome stuff. We've, we've grown our network from um, 250 members to 350 in the last year. Um, but we've got, there's some research that shows that about 10% of the human population should be uh, in this group. So um, there should be about 6,000 members in our, in our network. And that, they're not, that is not indicates that we've got some way to go. Um, so one of the things that Art PSA has been doing is some research collaborating with Victoria University. Um, looking at the experiences um, in regards to sexual orientation and gender identity in the New Zealand workplace. And so we started out doing focus groups and then in-depth interviews for these. And what they found was that it's still really difficult in the New Zealand workplace for people to come out, to be out. And it, it's not just for queer people, it's also for people that are assumed to be queer because of the way that they dress or the way that they act, the way that they talk, they also experience this kind of discrimination. So um, it wasn't a problem for me. Um, everybody usually knows, well not everybody, most people know that um, I'm not straight. And um, this, this has, I mean everybody knew before I did basically. <laughs> the, the librarian at Newtown public library knew before I did. She told her partner, who worked with my mother, yeah. <laughs> um, but when I, when I started working at my workplace, my current workplace, I work at the New Zealand Transport Agency, I made a decision that as soon as I heard something homophobic, I was going to give that person what for. And it didn't take very long, it took about two weeks, and somebody said that something was gay. And I said, what do you mean? And they said, oh, fucking stupid, rah, 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 ranting on about whatever it was that was driving them nuts. The whole floor in that office heard my response to that person, and it got down to, there are 300 words that you could be using instead of saying that something is gay to describe your frustration with that situation. 300 words that don't involve putting down a group of people. And I know that that's not what you meant, but how we use language affects other people 
even if that's not what you intend. And this is contributing to New Zealand's high suicide rate, particularly amongst our young people. So you really need to reconsider saying that something is so gay because it has very real effects, very serious real effects. The Council for Trade and Unions has recently developed a resource aimed at uh, educating um, people in the workplace with regards to gender and sexual diversity at work. So this is really awesome, like it's been such a long time in the coming. And we, we the PSA, have had, I think, uh, I think it was 12 people trained up on this. So we did a train the trainer session um, and it was mostly PSA um, members there, which is really cool. And each of those um, people who did the training have undertaken to put more on. So we'll let you know when those are because uh, it's so important. Like there are so many ways that, that, ways you wouldn't think that it would. I was explaining to somebody earlier, I frequently have to get mail unblocked by our IT team because it has the word lesbian in it or the word bisexual in it. Like just government email filters that stop us doing this, this really important mahi. Um, like it's just ridiculous. Um, what else have we had? We've had somebody who got told off at work for wearing tight red pants. This is because he's a guy. Got told off for wearing tight red pants. Um, there, there's more serious stuff as well in terms of not getting promotions, not getting um, pay rises, uh, really shitty language. Um, I, I'm a volunteer trainer in my workplace on a couple of our IT systems, and I heard secondhand that somebody didn't want to be trained by me. I think they thought it was catching. It's, <laughs> it, it's really not catching. <laughs> um, I've, I've got a little bit of a problem in that I can't tell. It, it, there's this thing called gaydar, which is apparently where you can tell if another person is, is queer or, or whatever. I don't have it. <laughs> I think it should actually be like a, perhaps even a recognised disability, because, all right, maybe not. But um, if, if I can't tell, I'm guessing most of you can't tell, or well, maybe you can. Anyway, tell people to join the network. Thank you.